Hello, friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Tube, and we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. Jean Robertson dies unexpectedly at age 77, and the beloved comedian's family needs prayer. Written by Mel Johnson. Read by Alyssa Forsberg. Jean Robertson, the comedian whose clean humor and relatable stories kept audiences in stitches, unexpectedly died on August 21, 2021, and our hearts and prayers go out to the grieving family she left behind. God certainly blessed Christian comedian Jean Robertson with an incredible sense of humor. She shared stories from her personal life and they never failed to have everyone laughing. Her wholesomely hilarious stories often involve the antics of her son and husband, affectionately nicknamed Beaver and Left Brain respectively. And these engaging tales brought laughter and joy to so many all throughout this amazing woman's life. Born September 21, 1943, to Jim and Cora Swanner, Jean Robertson spent most of her life in North Carolina. She began competing in pageants and even won the honor of representing her home state in 1963. Jean Robertson as Miss North Carolina then opened the door to winning the title of Miss Congeniality at the Miss America pageant. But Jean was more than just a pretty face. And during her time as a beauty queen, her passion and talent for public speaking flourished. People started talking about how funny I was and people wanted to hear me speak she said of her days in the pageant circuit. That year I had to drop out of school because there was so much. I gave over 500 presentations that year. At first, public appearances for Jean Robertson, the comedian, were only sprinkled in on the weekend. For years, Jean prioritized raising a family and teaching physical education at high schools. But God had clearly gifted Jean Robertson with an amazing talent for telling funny and relatable stories and clips of Jean Robertson on YouTube eventually launched her wholesome comedy into the limelight, and she took her show on the road. In addition to Jean Robertson's clever wit, the comedian easily won crowds over with her clean, down-to-earth demeanor. Listening to Jean never felt like you were hearing an act. Instead, hilarious anecdotes from her life made it feel like you were catching up with an old friend. Her popularity spiked thanks to the clips of Jean Robertson on YouTube, In what's probably one of Jean's most well-known videos, she talks about sending her husband left brain to the grocery store with a list and the hilarity that ensued. And Jean Robertson the comedian, or humorist as someone would call her, had plenty more stories to keep her fans laughing. From the woes of wearing a bodysuit to the struggle of keeping up with technology, Jean had a knack for finding humor in just about any situation. Even as the global coronavirus pandemic spread fear and anxiety all over the world, Jean Robertson continued sharing funny videos on YouTube and social media. The light of her humor helped push back against the darkness of the time. But then one day in August, an announcement on Jean Robertson's Facebook page revealed the comedian had been taken ill, forcing her to cancel several shows from her tour. Less than two weeks later, another announcement on social media broke the heartbreaking news of Jean's unexpected passing. It is with a heavy heart that we want you to know that Jean has passed. She had some health challenges lately, but this was unexpected. The update read, Jean Robertson passed away at the age of 77 in her home in Burlington, North Carolina. The loss follows soon after Jean's husband, Jerry Robertson, who passed away in June of 2021. And according to her son, Bailey Boline, the cause behind his mother's death remains unknown. The devastating news shocked fans, but it hit especially hard for the loved ones Jean left behind and we ask that you lift her grieving family up in prayer. While Jean Robertson's life here on earth may have ended, her eternal life has only just begun. As Christians, there is comfort in knowing she is now with her Lord and Savior, and the legacy of laughter left by Jean Robertson the comedian will remain for years to come. Jean truly had a gift when it came to putting a smile on people's faces. Check out a few more hilarious Jean Robertson stories in the show notes for you to enjoy.
Nicole Kidman goes to church and trusts in God, even though her friends tease her. Written by Heather Riggleman. Read by Alyssa Forsberg. Nicole goes to church and she fiercely believes in raising her daughters that way. That's right, folks. Nicole Kidman goes to church and trusts in God, even though her friends tease her. I, for one, know what it's like to be raising children in the church and have friends think you're giving your children a tainted point of view. Some think God is just an imaginary friend. Others believe God is too restrictive, and then there are others who will make fun of raising your children in the church. Nicole has heard it all. She lives in Hollywood, where it's rare to hear of topics such as Jesus, the cross, or God. There's only the universe, good vibes, crystals, and tarot cards. Others believe in manifesting your own destiny. Nicole, on the other hand, is raising her beautiful daughters, Sunday and Faith, with her sweet country crooner husband, Keith Urban. The pair have been married for 15 years, which is a century in Hollywood years. But these two believe in teaching their girls to trust in God. So Nicole Kidman goes to church with her family and openly speaks about her faith, regardless of what others in Hollywood think. Despite being made fun of for her faith in God, Nicole has steadily and faithfully relied on Jesus since her childhood years. A lot of my friends tease me, Nicole said. She was raised by a very strong Catholic grandmother. At one point in her life, she even considered becoming a nun. Can you imagine the big screen with Nicole and the light she shines for Christ for all to see? She says, I had a very Catholic grandmother and I was raised praying. So that had a massive impact, she said. I wouldn't say it's absolutism. There's constant questioning. I am a willful, feisty girl. For me, it's very important that I don't have judgment. My dad would always say, tolerance is the most important thing. And that is how she's raising her daughters Sunday in faith, to know and love Jesus. Can we all just take a moment to say, Mama, we got it and we stand with you. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5.10 Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production.